Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Checking Out Chili Sources with Chili Chump. My name is Sean, also known as Chili Chump, and in this series I'm going to be taking commercial hot sauces, trying them out and letting you guys know what I think of them. The first sauce on the menu is the Rhino Peri Peri Hot Sauce. Peri Peris are one of my favorite chilies, so I thought it was the perfect sauce to start with. The ingredients in the sauce are roasted tomatoes, water, onion, cider vinegar, lemon juice, canola oil, roasted garlic, sugar, salt, and peri peri chili peppers and spices. This doesn't give me a lot of faith that this is gonna be as spicy as it claims to be, but let's give it a go. When the ingredients are listed like that, normally the ingredients that are most prevalent inside a sauce are listed first. And with this one having the peri peris listed pretty much at the end, We'll see how it goes. So, let's give it a go. First up, the smell. Smells good. Smells like peri-peri. Makes my mouth water already. I've been looking forward to trying this one. Um, let's just give it a go and see what we think of it. Taking quite a bit here. I think with some of the hotter sauces I'm gonna try later in the series, I might not take just as much, but we'll see how it go with this one. Great flavor. As I thought, not terribly hot. Mouthfeel, <clears throat> actually not too bad. I was gonna say it's a bit thin at first, but I think mouthfeel is decent. Definitely taste the tomatoes. Um, <clears throat> it's good, it's good. Uh, the heat level, probably a one or two out of 10. The rating criteria that I'm using for these sauces are listed over here. And it should give you a fairly uniform view of these sauces. So if you have tried one of the sauces that I'm gonna be trying in this series, at least you can compare it to the others that maybe you haven't tried yet and make your mind up whether you want to. This is a decent sauce. It says extra hot on it. It really isn't. The flavors are good. Not very pronounced flavors, which is not a bad thing. You don't want one very overwhelming flavor necessarily in a sauce. Sometimes you do, especially with a garlic based sauce. Maybe you want a lot of garlic flavor. Yeah, I think it could do with a few more peri peri chilies in here if they really want to keep that label of extra hot. This isn't a sauce I would go out of my way to buy uh, if it's on your shelf in the supermarket and it's at a decent price, then, you know, pick one up and see what you think. But yeah, there are better peri peri sauces out there. But that is the Rhino Peri Peri. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And until then, stay spicy.